Okay, so last but not least, if you're following any of my videos that I've been putting out there recently about how to protect your glass and how to maintain the cleanliness of your glass, uh, I've demonstrated on a GoPro, I've demonstrated on an SLR lens. I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it all up with my camcorder lens. I shoot on a Nikon. Uh, which one is this that I'm using today? I've got my Vixia HFG20. Um, though it has a pretty slick lens hood that we can use and it opens and closes to protect the actual glass things happen right you're outside in the wind the kids are at the park you got things brushing all around the lens is exposed okay so i like to clean it every now and then and there's a prize an improper and a proper way of doing this the improper way which you probably see a lot of people doing is using say the inside of their t-shirt thumbing their finger through it and then wiping the glass with the inside of their shirt you really want to avoid doing that. I guess if you're in a jam and there's nothing else to do, I don't suggest it, but things happen, right? Um, my suggestion is to do it properly. Take it home and every now and then inspect your glass and make sure that it's streak-free and dust-free. In this case, mine is not. I mean, I use my camera a lot, so it's just going to get dirty, unfortunately. I don't touch it. I don't go out of my way to you know, get it grimy. But things happen. Airborne elements get stuck to them. You close the lens. They're in there. And that's what it is. So we're going to achieve. You're going to get all that stuff out of there and make it look new again. And it's really easy to do that. First thing I'm going to do is use my trusty air pump here. What we're going to do is we're going to use this to blow air out right into the lens. And what that's going to do is free up anything that's loose on the lens. And that's step one. It's the easiest of the both. And we're just going to go ahead without touching the lens, without nicking it or banging into it. All right, that's it. I was kind of overkill how I did that, but whatever. So anything that's loose, any of the dust that was on there, that's all blown off. And that's important because the next thing we'll do is we're gonna use a simple uh, bristle, like a horsehair brush or something of that nature. It's very non-abrasive, it's gentle. It's nothing that's going to scratch the lens. And that was the whole purpose of blowing off whatever was on the lens itself. The less it's on the lens, the less that we're gonna be grinding into the glass. Okay, and I'm not scraping or scrubbing or anything of that nature. I'm just whisking it away. All right, and that's going to get this. This step is just going to get anything that's physically on there off. All right, and I'm going to go ahead while I'm there, and anything around the base of the lens. Whoops, caught it just in time. Anything that's on the base of the lens, around the lens itself, I'm going to get all that out of there also because it's safe to say if it's in the proximity of the glass, it's going to end up back on the glass somehow, some way. Uh, just a quick point, I almost dropped this. Had I dropped it, I'd probably throw it away. I don't like to use anything that's hit the ground and, you know, use it to clean. When I'm washing my cars, if I drop a sponge, in the garbage it goes. Reason being, it picks up things off the ground that you don't know. Yeah, my house is clean, but, you know, people walk around with shoes sometimes. So that could be sand, it could be any kind of glass particles that you don't see or feel. And now I'm going to grind that into my glass. So, in this case, I caught it. It's safe. It'll go back in this protective pouch. All right. Um, but yeah, just something to be on the lookout for. The next thing I do is just use a lens tissue. Okay, a lens tissue to get off any kind of oils that are may or may not be on the glass itself. All right. I'm going to use a brand new lens tissue, and specifically a lens tissue, not bathroom tissue, that probably has some sort of soothing agents on there or any other stuff that we use. Reason being, you want this dry, you want it oil free, okay? We don't want any of that stuff on the lens. And we're gonna use this, again, I'm not gonna scrub or grind, just light pressure, okay, using the weight of my finger, and just kinda of using some common sense, right? Not going back and forth, back and forth, and I'm feeling around just to make sure that there's nothing caught underneath the tissue, God forbid, like a sand particle or something like that, right? And I can see already the lens is looking phenomenal. The glass is looking really, really nice. To polish it off and just finish it though, I'm going to use something like this. This is um, a lens glass cleaner. It's a non-abrasive uh, solution that we're gonna spray onto a clean microfiber cloth. This is all made for lens cleaning. All right, this isn't something I just pulled out of my closet. All right, this isn't an old rag that I don't need anymore. This is for you know cleaning lenses. And I put just one spritz on it, and I'm going to go ahead and just go around in a circular motion, 
And again, just with respect to feeling around and making sure there's nothing underneath in between the, the cloth and the lens itself, because that would be horrible. All right. And that's on there. I'm going to flip it over to the dry, dry, clean side. And I'm just going to go ahead and, as it air dries, I'm just going to kind of give it a hand and polish it off. All right. And there we go. That's as clean as it was from the first day that I bought this, which was over a year ago. If you maintain your equipment and you take care of your equipment, it won't look any worse than it was from the first day and it should perform the same way. And while I'm at it, I have another brush over here that I'll use and just kind of clean up the body and the base over here, just make sure no dust and everything gets in. Why? I don't know. It's nice. You have, you know, you invest money into these things. You want to keep them nice. Um, before I strap on the lens hood and the protector, I'm going to go ahead and just air, you know, blow out with air, make sure none of the dirt and grime is in here because we're going to put that right next to our clean lens over here and we don't want that. If you have any questions, let me know and any other further suggestions. I'm open to any ideas you have and uh, enjoy.